Herkese merhabalar. Eğitim Hakkında Konuşan Adam kanalından ben Kerem Özyiş. Arkadaşlar, her hafta sizlere farklı konuklar ve farklı konular getiriyoruz. Bu haftaki konuğum ise Rose of York'tan, bir dil okulundan, Londra'nın merkezinde bulunan bir dil okulundan Roberta. Kendisiyle olan söyleşimiz İngilizce olacak ve altyazıyla sizleri destekliyor olacağız. Şimdi İngilizce olarak devam ediyorum. Hi Roberta, thank you very much for coming and uh, we are very happy to welcoming you here. Thank you very much, Kerem. Um, I would like to ask you several questions about the Rose of York and also, first of all, I'd like to start with you. So, could you please introduce yourself? Who are you? Certainly. Um, so, my name is Roberta. Um, I work for Rose of York Language School. Um, I'm the Director of Studies. Uh, we say DOS, which is easier <laughs> and quicker. <laughs> um, I've been working for Rose of York for about uh, four and a half years. I started as a part-time teacher. Okay. Uh, I used to uh, teach IELTS, uh, and then I went on to uh, teaching IELTS for uh, full time. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I worked in the office part time, mm-hmm. and then I took over um, the academic office. <laughs> That's great. Uh, literally. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I became the director of studies. Yes. So I've been doing this for about three years now. Lovely. That's great. So. Um, It's good to know you. And what about Rose of York? Could you please tell us where is the school? What type of programs do you run in Rose of yes. York? Okay. So we would love to know that because we have lots of Turkish students, especially from Turkey. Uh, I mean, all around the world, but especially for, from Turkey, I may say. Um, they are really keen to come to UK to study their English language you know, courses. Okay, yes. So, well, okay, so physically the school is uh, very, very central. Mm-hmm. So we are on Oxford Street. Um, I think everyone knows Ox- Oxford sure Street because know, yeah. uh, of the number of shops uh, that are there. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's full of tourists. It's a very, you know, um, busy part of London. Uh, and by busy, I mean uh, positively busy mm-hmm. because of the people, because of the events uh, that are run there, because of the shops, because of the attractions in Tourists, general. Uh, yes, absolutely. Say. And we're very close to many um, uh, tourist attractions. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, you can walk to the British Museum, you can right. walk to uh, Hyde Park and so on mm-hmm. in Soho. So it's very, very central. And that is one of the key uh, things about uh, Rose of York. Um, what we do, you know, we do English language courses. Um, we have a wide variety of courses. Mm-hmm. Um, we do general English, mm-hmm. um, which is say the main uh, the main thing. But we, I think, on Oxford Street, we are the only language school that offers uh, ESP courses. All right. And by ESP courses, I mean English for specific purposes, mm-hmm. such as. Um, Um, medical English oh, or right. legal English. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have a very popular aviation English okay. um, course. Uh, now, y- your question might be, uh, who teaches these courses? <laughs> you know, aviation English. I was about to ask you. Uh, yes, yeah. um, we have people. Well, we're lucky to have people that have uh, a background in you know these kind of uh, fields. So, mm-hmm. for the aviation English, for example, we have. Um, uh, a teacher who trains um, um, pilots for a specific airline, for a European airline, okay. and he works with us as well. So he's very, very experienced. He's such a he's a sweetheart. He's, he's really a really nice guy mm-hmm. to uh, to be in class with. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's a very popular um, course we have. Uh, we have exam preparation courses, mm-hmm. um, and so. Various ones. We have IELTS preparation courses, um, Cambridge preparation courses, Trinity preparation courses, mm-hmm. um, and, and so on. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is what we do. We have a young learners program. So we teach uh, children um, that From are about what age do you start? Twelve onwards. 12, okay. Yes, twelve onwards. Mm-hmm. Um, we obviously. Give you know, divide them by age according to kind of the groups we have. Mm-hmm. So if we have very young learners like 12 or 13, they will be okay. studying together, but separately from, uh, say, uh, teenagers, mm-hmm. uh, because, you know, they're, they're, they're yeah. not, they don't have the same kind of maturity and exactly. the same um, way of, of doing things mm-hmm. and so on. Um, we have a teacher who specializes in teaching children, okay. or young learners in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's got a, a certificate to teach children specifically, so she's, she's the person that you know, will kind of entertain them and, and, and um, 
at the same time teach English and, and I've you know it, she's, she's a very successful teacher at okay. our school uh, especially amongst young, young, young so learners so basically for each program that you're running mm -hmm. you have the experts the main we do yeah people yes. who are teaching basically for what is they're specialized for yes that's, that's yes. really good and um, there are several questions we are receiving from the students yes especially about the language programs lang yes. language schools yeah. um, the first one usually they say where is the school Cool. So this is the one of the best part that we can say it's in central London. Yeah. And the second question is we usually have the nationality mixture. Yes. Because most of the students they have some bad experiences from different schools. Once they go to the school and start um, having these English language courses, they find themselves in a classroom of 15 and 10 of them from let's say from Turkey. So they feel like they are having classes not in London like in Istanbul. But in Istanbul, yes. yes. I know so what you mean. could you please tell us about the nationality mixture as well, the how of does it? Of course, yes. Um, so um, what I know is that last year, so 2019, the nationality mix was, uh, so we had students from 55 different countries. All right. Um, which is something we're very proud of, yeah. uh, I must say, because it's not easy uh, to have such a, such a nationality mix in a, in a school. Yes. Um, and so you will uh, be in a classroom with, you know, a Far East Asian student, mm -hmm. I mean, especially for uh, Turkish people, mm -hmm. okay, Far East Asian students, uh, South American students, especially Brazilians, um, or uh, Colombians, mm -hmm. um, European students, mm -hmm. Um, some students from you know the African continent as well, yeah. uh, Eastern Europe, uh, um, yes, the East of Europe. Uh, so very many all around uh, the world. Uh, yes, yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh. All that's that's the very important thing. And um, usually, the classes that how many students maximum do you locate in the in a classroom? Yes. So the maximum number of students we have per class is sixteen. Okay. So. Um, Yes, and that happens when you know we're very busy, maybe uh, in, the, the in summertime. Yeah. But um, we kind of keep an eye on that because we know that it's not very, um, say, pleasant to be in a class with, mm -hmm. you know, fifteen or sixteen people. Um, so we try and and um, make it work for everyone, for the teachers as well, because mm -hmm. obviously it's not you know it's not the best thing to teach uh, a mass large, of people. Yes, yes a right. large number of people. So. Um, yeah, so um, normally, I mean, if, if we see that the class is big and we can split it, we mm -hmm. will. So we will uh, kind of split the class and open another one and mm -hmm. put another teacher. So, you know, the numbers are manageable. So it's, you know, 10 people, 8 people, 10 people. And that's, that's kind of the perfect number yeah. of, of students. Yeah. And the question going to be that, um, why do you think students should choose Rose of Europe? Because there are lots of you know, options they have, especially in London, let's say. So what makes Rose of York become the first line to be chosen? Mm, yes, um, I would say, I mean, there are, there are many things that, um, uh, you know, that, that should kind of entice students mm -hmm. uh, at Rose of York. Um, I'd say that the main thing is, what, two main things. One mm -hmm. is the nationality mix, yeah. definitely. And also um, kind of in terms of, um, Yes, studying and because it's not just, you know, it's not just about I'm going to, to London, I'm going to study English. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to study in a classroom with other people mm -hmm. and uh, you're going to be, um, to be seeing people every day, people mm -hmm. who are in reception, people who are uh, your teachers, uh, your classmates, mm -hmm. uh, people that deal with your accommodation and so on. Mm -hmm. And I think the team we have at Rose of York mm -hmm. is, is the winner. Yeah. Okay, um, it's a very international team. Um, I think all together we speak uh, nine languages. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for even from for students coming from Turkey mm -hmm. who are not very confident yet with their mm -hmm. English, uh, they can find someone to kind of maybe ask something in Turkish, okay. and that is fine. Um, so it and we are a very uh, close group. Mm -hmm. Yes. We, you know, we are friends with each other. We do things with each other. So we kind of um, we look after our, our uh, students very well. So, if so I it's say like a it's family. A kind of family. Yeah. It's a kind of family yeah. which I think, especially for students coming yeah. from Turkey mm -hmm. and having that kind of background, right. it's very important. Exactly. You know, to, exactly. to know that 
yes, I'm moving to another part of the world and I've never mm -hmm. been there and I'm, oh my God, you know, my mom, my dad, my, my family, family, my, my, friends, you know, my yeah, friends. Yeah. You go to an environment in which um, they, it's another family and, and you new, are supported. Yeah, it's yes. a new environment. Basically, if I may give an example from myself, the yes. first time when I came to UK, yeah. I was, I mean, I came and I didn't know anybody here. Yes. So I was completely lonely. I was depressing, having some problems about what am I going to do? How am I going to open a bank account or Absolutely. the English, let's say that, yeah. okay, I did know how to speak English, yeah. but the local, I mean, let's say the, with the locals, to having a conversation, which is not that, it wasn't that easy. So I had to practice and I needed someone to help me or at least give my ideas. Yes. So I do understand very well. And I must, I must add one thing about Rose of York. Um, because we did, we did give many students to Rose of York and um, I cannot give any name who complain about the school mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the most important thing that you mentioned, if they have any problems, it doesn't have to be about the school, it doesn't have to be about the mm -hmm. English language classes, it can be even about the outside school in the London life, let's say. They are eligible, they are free to go with somebody else at, at school to have a conversation or at least ask a support. So basically most of my students, they usually call me, but they don't call me. So <laughs> I, I understand oh, that there's no good. problem. Yeah. <laughs> so while I have the you know, meetings with them, usually yeah. they, tell me, they tell me that oh, we are so happy because they're so helpful. And I also should say, uh, whoever joined to Rose of York, they usually um, improve their English better than most of the schools. Yes. I'm really proud to say that as well. I mean, as a first admit founder, a person who is a kind of agency, you call it, education consultant, I may say this because um, our students who are usually joining or applying to universities to start undergraduate or postgraduate programs, but if their English level is low, we usually send them to you guys. Mm -hmm. and. What we find is, let's say three months or the six months, whatever journey they have for the English classes, once they finish the course, they, I mean, I may say the 90%, even more, they all pass the exams, mm -hmm. the IELTS or the other exams, whatever they need to sit. So this is the um, main reason I really wanted to welcome you to our videos on the channel as well, to be honest. Thank you very much, Karen. Can I sure, add please. a couple of things of course, sure. uh, that I didn't mention? And obviously uh, the teachers and mm -hmm. our team uh, of teachers who are most of them are Delta qualified. Delta, uh, the Delta is a diploma, so it's the highest mm -hmm. um, certification that they get uh, mm -hmm. um, when, when you teach English as a foreign language. Okay. Uh, and part of the support, I mean, most of the support comes from the teachers mm -hmm. and, and they will be able to understand, you know, what kind of mm. um, needs the students have and, and you know, help them in, in, in the best way to mm -hmm. reach the target that they have set for themselves. Um, so yes, our teachers and, and, and our teachers come, they're all, you know, they all know London very well. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are from London, so they, you know, or are the parts of the UK, but some of them are from London. So they will be able to tell you, you know, oh yes, yes, yes go and see this, or yeah. you must come with me to see this, yeah. um, and so on. So it's, it's, it's a kind of a, a blended, you know, um, kind mm. of yes, exactly. Friendly because you get a, yes, I oh, definitely. And the other thing is, that, you know, for people coming from Turkey, mm. we also help uh, with the visa application, mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. support that. So yeah, if if that is a requirement, of course. That's and we can also, do. I know that you are running nice um, activities, especially um, afternoon tea sessions that yes, you do. Yes, All yes, my yes, students they <laughs> love to join that one because um, okay. this is. If I may say that this is um, afternoon tea session is like um, all the students from school they mm -hmm. gather together in the, um, the student common room. They have the tea biscuits and the main purpose of this to make sure students are having in conversation classes, kind of not being inside the classroom environment. Basically, you are um, in a friendly chat environment, so you feel you know relax and just talk any topic in anywhere absolutely it's a free environment so you're not um you're not there with the teacher i mean the teachers might be there just you know informally but you, you don't feel like you have to give the right answer you know like in class for example you might be feel the pressure of saying oh mm -hmm. my god is it right is it wrong whereas at the tea party that we have every wednesday mm. um it's it's just you know it's a it's a fantastic opportunity for everyone to practice their obviously their yes. speaking skills 
and to um, and to get to know other students because there sure. might be new students and you haven't met them yet because they are in other and classes yeah. and they or they come in the afternoon so yeah so that's one of the things yeah that's great well um, last but not least um, this question is quite important um, from this video I like to mention that um, most of the students they choose to go to different schools mm -hmm. but as far as I should mention um, Rose of York is slightly affordable with the mm -hmm. fees so um, if I may say the students who are joining the Rose of York who would like to join the Rose of York through First Edimate with our company um, they're eligible to get the special offers that they may have um, special uh, discounts if I say yeah. that would be correct yeah. I believe so for the details I believe they should contact with us and also um, Rose of York runs a test for your English level before you join the program you should sit this test we may even direct you to the test or you may even find through their website yeah. and after you get the results just get get in touch with us we will direct you for how many months or weeks you need to study and what program you should study uh, before I forget I like to mention one thing as well because uh, at the beginning of the video, you say that you are teaching uh, different uh, exam That's programs, yeah. such as IELTS, Cambridge exams, and Trinity you mentioned. Yes. Um, IELTS is the one of the most popular exam, everybody knows that. And it's a slightly difficult exam, but if I may say Trinity exam, it's um, a little bit easier. And the good thing is, Rose of York is the Trinity exam center. So basically, once you come to UK and sit in a, uh, sit an English uh, language, general English language program, you are eligible to take the package opportunity exam um, preparation as well. Yeah. That will help you to um, pass this exam. If you pass this exam, you are eligible to join any university in the UK for undergraduate or postgraduate programs as well. Am I right? Definitely. Yes, definitely. If I, if I may add just a, a please slight um, you know addition to what you were saying mm -hmm. um, for people who don't really know about you know IELTS and, and Trinity and Cambridge mm -hmm. um, it is true what you said that IELTS uh, is is quite a, a tough exam it's tough because it's not uh, it's um, it's focused on the exam only it's not focused on the person taking the exam mm -hmm. um, and uh, parts of the exam are, are really really difficult and you have to you know you have you need long training to uh, be able to understand what to do in the exam um, whereas with Trinity um, the, the, the Trinity exam is there to uh, kind of help the student to uh, express themselves and to kind of express the, the best of themselves and to bring the best of themselves to the exam um, so it is structured in, this, in a similar way, so there's uh, all the four skills, so listening, um, reading, speaking, writing and speaking, but it's much more about the person taking the exam. So it mm -hmm. will kind of uh, ask the student to um, draw on their experience, uh, talk about you know, past experiences, choose from different subjects. Um, the exam itself, um, the, the, the four parts are link interlinked with each other, mm -hmm. whereas with IELTS, they aren't at all. Yes, <laughs> That's why it makes it very difficult. Yeah. Whereas with Trinity, it's just a, a, a progress, you know, a kind of progression you, you mm -hmm. feel through the exam. Uh, it is an exam and it is, you know, um, it's, it's diffi difficult, can be difficult, challenging, uh, but it prepares students uh, much more kind of complete, it's much more thorough than, it, than an IELTS, IELTS test. And, and of course, it can be done at Rose of York, so you don't have to go and find an exam centre. We are a Trinity exam centre, so you can s prepare for the exam with us and, and sit, sit the exam with same us. environment yes. as well. This is a very good one. Yeah. Well, um, thank you very much for coming, Roberta. Um, no I have finished all my questions, and I believe all the uh, viewers, they just get the nice answers and valuable ones. So thank you very much for coming as well. So um, hopefully, if we have any questions, we would love to bother you and ask you these questions and try to get some more answers. Not a problem at all. Thank you very much, Karem, and uh, hope to see you soon. I'm going to turn back to Turkish now so to finish the video. Thank you. Arkadaşlar, biraz uzunca bir video oldu. Fakat gördüğünüz üzere İngiltere'de bir İngilizce okulunda okumak için 
hangi bölümleri seçebilirsiniz ve neler yapmanız gerekiyor. Bununla ilgili güzel bir söyleşi oldu. Ee, videoda da belirttiğim üzere Rose of York'a kayıt olmak isterseniz bizim kanalımızda yani First Edumate kanalıyla eğitim hakkında konuşan adamdan ulaşarak kayıt olmanız durumunda çok büyük indirimler alacaksınız. Bilirsiniz Kerem abiniz her zaman indirimleri sever. O yüzden burada da indirimi kopardık. Arkadaşlar kanalıma abone olmayı, like atmayı, takip etmeyi ve aklınıza takılan tüm soruları gerek yorum kısmından, gerek Instagram'dan ya da WhatsApp numaramdan bana ulaşmayı ya da ulaştırmayı unutmayın ve çekinmeyin. Şimdilik hoşçakalın. Görüşmek üzere.